So what we're told is one of the judges gave Andy Lee a 10. And the computer says that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, computers. I, I've never liked them. You know, let's just do it old school. Let's write them all out, run it across the floor. Well, the judges have little score pads, and they have to add all their deductions and whatnot, and then they type it in. So if one of the systems isn't working, it won't read it right. And of course, you have to stop the meet, because you don't want to miss out on a score like that. So now, apparently Lee's score has been adjusted to a 9-9. I don't want to give the inference that because they wouldn't take the 10, they just lowered the score so the computer would take it. So the judges went back, rescored it. So now it's a 9-9. They had a Sousa, fourth up. And again, California forced to go five for five to hold on and win the meet. on the balance beam. She brings that to the floor exercise. Nice extension, strong positions throughout her routine. Beautiful combination there. Back one and a half to the front pole. routine throughout clean tumbling as well finishing right here front one and a half right to that double steg she looked like she was a little lean forward so she did a great job holding on to the top of the jump and keeping her balance so now each side has had four compete in the rotation we're down to our final two performances on each side for stanford on beam it'll be null and brian and brian was our all-around leader coming in but is chasing Andy Lee now. Put up that big score again. Andy Lee went 9-9 on floor after the 9-9-2-5 on B. It's close. We're doing the math. Debut day for Brenner Nolte has been great. 975 vault, 9775 on floor, 9825 on bars. Now finishing her all around in her very first collegiate meet on beam in Berkeley. Confident there on her landing of her front aerial. switch ring, dropping your head back as that foot comes towards the head. Anytime you take your eyes off the balance beam, it can be a challenging skill. And dismounting one and a half twist. I am so impressed. Never an easy event, but also as a freshman in the all around final event, pressure between these two teams and she looks so confident unbelievable all the way through to the dismount she holds on to the landing 
I mean, as a freshman to come out, not just be hitting routine, right? but go for the details. Hit and be perfect. In an all-around program on the road. So before that performance, Stanford was actually leading by .35. Again, Stanford has not beaten Cal since 2017. And they're leading by 0 0.35 going to those last two. And Stanford already has one in the books. The pressure is on for California. And they changed their lineup. They're going to finish with the Mayas. Lausanne first. Bordas last. They need big scores. And they need them right now. Front double full. Immediate punch front. short held on to it a little short there coming in on the landing had to take the step forward it's a small mistake but it's at a, a critical moment in the meet in which they can afford no mistakes well on a twisting element you want to block the floor so that you don't get too much rotation she almost overcompensated a little high on the back handspring so when she landed right there again if your knees are too far in front of your toes you get that kind of buckle she did a good job of not dropping her chest and putting her hands down also. I would think it'll be, you know, a tenth or two just on that landing. Sherry has turned in two 985s on vault and B. 9875 for Nolp. <laughs> what a statement. Look at the scores for Stanford. Of course, it's all gonna come down for them to Kyler Bryant. So the meet is on the line, the all rounds on the line. History about to rewritten. And who else would you want up on the beam but Kyla Bryant? Three times last year, 9.85 or better. They would love that score right here. She's had a great meet today. She brings her power and her dynamics to this event as well. She settles in on the landings, nicely done in that opening tumbling series. Very unique element there, that jump has what's called a switch leap in it. You see most athletes do that from one foot, but she has enough power to do it from both feet. Confident on that landing. Sets up difficult dismount here. Two back handsprings to the double tuck. That is the wow. biggest dismount for Stanford in five years, and she stuck it. Unbelievable. That is a risky dismount because it's hard to land. I mean, so confident when I saw her at the beginning of the warm-ups. I mean, you could just see she was so excited to be back out here, and she brought it across all the events. But look at the height, the power, two flips. It's hard, and then knew exactly oh, where she was. Look on. at that. <laughs> oh, and look at the face. She said, "That's right. That's what I'm talking about." Things uh, have changed at Stanford. Oh, Kyla Bryant, just ridiculous today. She already had a 9875 on vault, a 9925 on floor, and a 995 on bars. We know it's over 99. How much over? I, I didn't see much deduction, to be honest with you. It's tough when you're not sitting directly side by side with the beam, but it's got to be, yeah, 
close to a 10. I wouldn't be shocked if I see a judge put up a 10. Lausanne, 9 8, so it leads it to Maya Bordas. She can't do math in her head right now, but this meet may be out of reach for California, which is shocking. They had such a big lead at the midway point, it all turned in that third rotation. And they may have run out of time, but all Bordas can do is her best right now, and then we do the math. I have Stanford up by .425. Double tuck. Step forward just a hair on that landing. Combination, coming right back, back one and a half front layout. to finish it out. So as California finishes with a bit of a whipper, Stanford is ready to celebrate. Kyla Bryant just went 9-9-2-5 on the floor. That should be enough. Exhibition gymnast finishing up for Tap of the Yim and Stanford, but it appears they have pulled off the upset. And done it with a little room to spare. Everything fell into place at the end. California had trouble on the beam. Stanford came back, had good rotations in their final two, and ended with Kyler Bryant, who had already won the floor with a 9-9-2-5. She comes back, wins the beam with the same score. Bryant also wins the bars at 9-9-5. And she was second on the vault, so she wins three out of four with a second. Wins the all-around with a career-best 39-6-7-5. For Stanford, their best score ever in a season opener was a 196-625. That was 11 years ago. I don't think they're quite going to get there. It's their first win in conference since the Arizona meet in 2019. Their first win since 2017 against California. And I think sim simplistically we just say it's a shock. <laughs> Well, you know, when, when you talk to this team at the beginning, they said, you know, we're just so happy to be here. We we didn't get a season last year. We didn't get training. We didn't anything. And so that really has forced them to have a different mindset coming in. And you saw this team remembering why they started gymnastics in the first place. We love this. We are happy to be here. And so the energy was positive throughout. When they made mistakes, they rebounded nicely. And they went into the most difficult event just confident and, and really like they were here just to have a great time. Hold on, hold on. And we we both thought that that Bryant was gonna get was gonna get more than the 9925. I think that's why she's walking away. Now we can see the score. It's a tie. <laughs> it ends up as a tie. I think we all expected her to go a little bit higher than that on the scoring. And it ends up 196, 275. Well, that's math and that's gymnastics. 196, 275 for Stanford. 196, 275 for Stanford and Calvo. It's a tie. 
explain your last two years on this planet. Mine would be strange, unexpected, unique, maybe would be the best adjective. But we just had it happen inside Haas Pavilion. 196-275 for Stanford, 196-275 for California. The meet is a wash. It's it's a tie. Jim Watson, Amanda Borden, and on the other side of the screen, the real talent. That's Kyler Bryant for Stanford, who won everything today except for the fall. But let's talk about the meet. Kyler, were you guys aware in that last rotation you were leading this meet? You know, this team is just phenomenal. We go into practice every single day, and our motto is to flip the script. And so our main, like our main thing this whole day was to just do what we do in the gym, and nothing more, nothing less, and just to have fun. So I saw that in the last rotation, and clearly we, we, we blew it up. Well, you were like the first person I saw when I walked into the arena, and you were smiling ear to ear, which you're always known for, but there was just something special about seeing you back in action. How great was it to be back out on this floor? I mean, I'm speechless. Like, I was over there, I got emotional, like, after we were done, because it's been a long two years, you know, everybody's been going through the whole COVID protocols and things like that, and I came back this year with a vengeance, and I'm ready to, you know, celebrate my, se my super senior year and go out in style, and I feel like tonight was just, um, you know, the start to a new, new chapter. Well, everybody's been through a lot, and, and all of you athletes especially, but watching that beam lineup, three freshmen, three seniors, you talk about flipping the script, but what is it really about this team that is so different? Because let me tell you, it was amazing to watch what was happening on the floor today. You know, I think something that we, we love about our freshmen is that we they are just go-getters. They have the biggest hearts, and they are so competitive. And I think those two pairings go together with having underclassmen and upperclassmen. I think just coming in, flipping the script, like, and keeping that narrative, change the narrative, change your attitude about when you walk into me, how you hold your head up high. And I felt like my freshmen, I'm so proud of them. They killed it today. Well, and, and all of this that you're seeing is coming from Tabitha, your head coach. And Amanda and I have known Tabitha for years. We talked to her before the meeting, and I said, Tabitha, we saw you do it at at Arizona when you rebuilt that program and led them to better heights. And now you're you're gonna do it again at Stanford. I said, is it time? And she said, it's time. This team is gonna surprise you. Last year, we missed three months of training. When we trained, we were training outdoors. We trained just for a couple of weeks before the season started. Now we got a full off-season training and you're gonna see how good this team is. So I'm gonna ask you, Kyla, how good is this team? I think y'all are ready for a show. I think it's about time for a show, and I think we're going to give it to you this year. Awesome. Well, we just saw one from you. i got to ask you about your all-around score because you win everything but the vault and then your all-around score, 39675. I had to do the math twice to make sure that blows out your all-time best. <laughs> Thank you. You got more in the tank for us later in the I year? I got more in the tank. I'm going all <laughs> gas. I'm going till it's on E, past E. <laughs> Well, you were so fun to watch. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. So good to see you guys. Fantastic work, and congratulations to both sides today, Kylie. Thank Enjoy you the, so much. the short trip home. Thank you. Well, that was unexpected. We said it before, and Stanford was leading all the way down. Portis finishes and gets just enough to pull us even. So, you know, that's the kind of meet we want. It's the first and 21st on the network. Uh, the takeaway for me, because California had some problems, and they're going to they're gonna iron out those wrinkles. We know how good California is. For me, the takeaway is how good Stanford has gotten in the last 12 months. I think the takeaway for me was both teams made mistakes, but you saw the potential. I mean, yeah. across the board, there wasn't perfection. There was little things. Both teams have more difficulty to add in. But what an exciting and great way to start the season because that's what it's all about. Don't give up. Keep fighting through. And so even when we saw the hiccups, both of these teams showed us exactly what we're going to see this year in the Pac-12, and that's fight. So, listen, I've never been any good at math. We're going to prove it again because the judges have now changed the score, Amanda. The judges have changed the score, and you can tell by the reaction by Liz Crandall Howell. California wins the beat. Maybe she's just finding out as well. Well, I'm looking at my score now, and it says California 196, 325, Stanford 196, 275. It doesn't change our takeaways, doesn't change the performances today, but also doesn't change history. And so the streak continues. Stanford has been California in five years, but now it's gotten a lot more interesting. My goodness. I think we have to get out there before they, they change the score again. Apparently they changed Bordis' score on the floor to a 9775, if that's correct. That's what I have on my sheet here. 9775 was just enough to push California in front. Again, remember in gymnastics, 
it's not about your wins and losses. It's about your average score. That's what the rankings are based on. Early in the season, you're going to see a lot of fluctuation. But a 196.325 for California would be a score they drop later in the year. For Stanford, 196.275 blows out their highest score by more than a point of all of last year. So both teams leave with things to think about. For Justin Howell in California, got to work on the beam. Got to clean things up just a little bit for Stanford. Oh, my goodness. They're bigger than we thought. They're better than we thought. Great work. That'll do it for us. For your producer, David Feldman. Your director, Mark Wilson. Stay 